create investing assets, income sources to own that will generate us high income cash. Now, when we invest our money in assets, this asset have to generate us cash. This $50 bill, when invested in assets, or the cash that we invest in assets, have to generate us more income cash. Yes, when you invest your cash, such as this $50 bill, you want to make sure that you have invested your cash in a great asset investment that will continue to generate you more cash because this is the purpose of investing in any asset over time over the years and for generation and these are the eight assets to own that will generate us high income cash number one real estate By buying a property to own, putting it up for rent, the renters or tenants that want to live in our property and then these renters will pay us rent. For instance, it can be depending on how we want for them to pay our rent either every week, every two weeks or every month, but it's usually every month. Now, before the renters start to live in the house, we have to do a contract when we both agree that they have to pay us to pay a certain amount of money, for instance, every month for one year. Now, let's say once they start living in our property, then every month they have to pay us rent. And this is called cash flow or generating cash. Now, once we start receiving this cash from the renters, we can save this cash to buy another property And this is called reinvesting and continue to do the same process over and over and over to continue to generate us more cash. And this is called reinvesting to buy more properties, more assets to generate us more cash. Number two, fix and flip. And what this is, is basically buying a property that we like, that needs to be fixed at a cheap or low price. Then once we buy this property, we can fix the land, the house from the outside and the inside. And once the property is fixed, then we can put it up for sale for a higher price and if a buyer comes when if we get a buyer or buyers that are interested in buying the property we can go ahead and sell it now when we sell the property to the buyer now we got our investment back and we also made a high profit now this is called fix 
and flip. This is called buying real estate properties that are in bad condition, fix the property, and resell it for a higher price. And this will generate us high income cash. And you can continue to do the same process over and over with fix and flip to generate even more cash. Number three, commercial real estate property or a commercial real estate building property. Now, what is a commercial real estate building? Following, there's a picture where you can see what a commercial real estate building looks like. Now, that is what a commercial real estate building looks like. When we see a commercial real estate property building for sale, we want to make sure that it has plenty of rooms. So, you, we want to make sure of that. Because the more rooms it has, the more entrepreneurs we can rent office space to and the more cash we're going to generate. Which means when we buy a commercial real estate property, we can rent this office space or this rooms to people that want to open up a business so they can start selling their products and generate cash. And this will generate us more cash every month. Now, to rent office space in a commercial real estate building, it's real high. It can range from $1,500 to $2,000 to even $3,000 or even higher. So, a commercial real estate building or a commercial real estate property building, it's a great asset and a great investment. Now, let's say that we have rented all this space from the, this commercial building to entrepreneurs that they have now opened up their businesses yes, and selling their products. Now, this means that every month, these entrepreneurs are actually paying us rent every month and we're generating a lot of cash, which means this cash we can use to pay our building taxes every year and we can also use the money that is left after paying our taxes to be able to buy another commercial real estate building and do the same process and continue to do this process over and over. Now, when we buy a commercial real estate building, the best thing to do is make sure always to buy it at a good, right location because it's very important. Yes, the location is very important. And this is, and the reason is because of people. We want to see a lot of people, that area, such as shopping or that are always in that area. We want to make sure that there's always a lot of people and this will attract people either that they want to open up a business or we can also make sales. So if people decide to open up a business to sell their products, then this will generate them cash and will also generate us owners of the building cash. So, the entrepreneurs are making sales. They're making cash. We are making cash. As commercial real estate owners. And this is the reason why 
that location is very important because if there's a lot of people and the more people are always in that area, the better because we're going to get customers. The business people are going to get a lot of customers depending on their needs, what kind of business it is, and depending on their needs, and this means sales. So this means cash for the entrepreneurs and cash for us as the owners of this commercial real estate building. So owning a commercial real estate building, it's a great asset, a great investment, and also it will generate us high income cash every month. Continue to do the same process as buying another commercial real estate building. In another area where there's more people, well, great, because this is an, another opportunity to buy that commercial real estate property if it's for sale. You can always negotiate the price to get that building at a low price. And this will be a great investment. We can continue to do the same process to buying another building in that area or in another area where there's even a lot more people. And we can always negotiate the price if the building is for sale so we can get it at a bargain price or cheaper. And if we can get it at a lower price, this means good. If we can get it at a lower price, it's best because we can buy it at a cheaper price and make our investment even better. And this generate us more cash. Now let's say that if we get it at a lower price, then all of a sudden we decide to sell the building, we can sell it for a higher price. So it will be a great investment. So always negotiate. Yeah, always negotiate the price when buying assets. Either it can be a real estate property, it can be a commercial real estate property. Always negotiate the price to get it cheaper. Now, if we can get a good deal and a good, a low price, this is good for us because if all of a sudden we decide to sell the building, we can sell it for a higher price to make a profit. And this works for all real estate properties. The more we buy these assets, the more cash we're going to generate. And this is the purpose of investing. To make us more money. This is the importance of investing. The $50 bill when we invested in an asset or this cash when we invested in an asset this $50 bill has to become more than $50. So our assets and our cash have to become more when we invest. That's the purpose of investing over time, over the years, and for generations to come. Number four, YouTube. YouTube, it's a huge business worldwide. Millions and even billions of people watch YouTube videos daily, every day. We can promote our talents to people and people all over the world see. Yes, with YouTube, we can give people value depending on people's needs as, all, as well as our needs because we all watch YouTube videos depending on in our needs. 
We can also promote our business or businesses, products that we are selling, can promote other people's businesses and their products, businesses physically, businesses online that we have through our website that we're selling our products and services. We can get sponsorships. So YouTube, it's a huge worldwide business. YouTube will also do the following. If a person comes up with a great idea regarding a product and the person brings this product to life to sell, that person wants to show it to the world so they can see it and they might be interested in buying the product. So this person, all of a sudden, comes up with the idea of opening up a YouTube channel, starts making videos, and then post these videos on YouTube so they can promote themselves and promote their product. Now, like I said, once a video is posted, it goes viral. The whole world, the whole world sees videos and these videos that were just posted can be shared yet by family and friend and this and then all of a sudden this person and products starts to get known in the world and they start making sales uh, they start the person starts getting a lot of views because the world the people start yes the public starts to see this person's product and start getting interested and want to buy them and all this happened all because of YouTube, because of the videos, because it went viral through the internet. And this is what YouTube can do. And the internet also, because it's worldwide. When the video gets up there, it goes viral. Now, this is another way to generate high income cash through YouTube, a great business, a great platform. Number five, opening up a physical business to sell. Your products and services, and this will generate high income Also, and you can also use YouTube to promote your business and your products and services and other many others others that I just mentioned. You can continue to open up businesses if you want to promote them, continuing to sell your products, continuing to sell the same product or other products. So this is another high income generating machine. Number six, opening up a business online. Yes, opening a website business online to sell your products and services. And you can also use YouTube and social media to promote your product and services so you can start making sales and making high income cash. Number seven, dividend stocks. Regarding investing in dividend stocks or shares, From a business corporation, when you buy a stock or stocks, you're buying a piece of the corporation. You own a piece, a very small, tiny piece percent of the corporation. Now, when you buy a lot of stocks or a lot of shares, you're buying a bigger part of the corporation, a bigger percent. 
So this is another high income generating machine. If you're interested in, in what is a dividend stock and how does it work, I have a video on that if you're interested in watching for more information. Number eight, stock speculation. Now, regarding stock speculation, it's very different from dividend stocks. Dividend stock will actually generate cash every three months without us having to sell our shares. Now, we can have capital gain, but we have to sell our shares. But since we're investing in a long term to generate us high income cash, dividend stocks are the best because that corporations every three months or earlier will have to pay the shareholder or the shareholders a dividend payment every three months. And this is how dividend stocks work. And we don't have to sell our shares. Instead, we can buy more. The more shares we buy in dividend stocks, the better because it will generate us more cash. Now, regarding stock speculation, this means the company does not pay any dividends. In order for us or in order for you to make money on a speculation stock, you have to sell the stock to make a profit. This is the only way you're going to make money by selling the shares. And this is once you sell and make a profit, that is called capital gains. Now, let's say that you bought 10 shares from a speculation stock. Those 10 shares you bought at $10 each. And in a couple of days or weeks or even a month, the stock price went from $10 to $40. This means that since you bought it at 10, it, it, now the stock price is worth $40. When you sell the shares, you'll be making $30 per share. Now you got your investment back and you got your profit or the capital gains. So you already made your profit once you sold. And this is how you make money or high income also through buying stocks or speculation stocks. This is how this works. These are all the eight assets. Also, regarding taxes, invest in stocks and you sell before a year, that's called short-term investment. You might have to pay taxes on those capital gains depending on how many shares and money you have made or you have earned during that year period. So, because you sold early on those investments, when you do your taxes, you have to pay the government taxes on those capital gains depending on how much money you made. Now, if you sell over a year, you don't have to pay any taxes because that's a long-term investment. So, you always want to make sure if you want to make a lot of money selling short less than a year, Good, you still be making money, but you also have to see that you also have to pay taxes on those capital gains because you sold before the year. And if you hold over a year and you sold your shares over a year and you make a lot of capital gain, you don't have to pay any taxes. But you also have to ask the person that does your taxes if you have to pay taxes or not. And that person will let you know. But when it's a long term, and you sell over a year, this means you don't pay any taxes. You might also want to ask the person that does your taxes regarding this to be more sure. Yes, to know more about it. Yes, it's better to ask. So you want to invest in this asset that will generate you cash.
If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you saw value and liked the video, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.